Okay, all right, so today we are gonna do some rock painting. So the cool thing about this program is that uh, it's really more of a relaxed program. Um, what I really wanted was us to be able to paint together, um, to feel that sense of community, and I know it's kind of hard to see people right now, so that's what I was hoping. Um, we did have some people pick up bags on their own, they just couldn't attend this time slot. But let me show you what should be in your kit, okay? Thumbs up, yeah? I'm a huge like thumbs up fan, so I'll do that a lot. <laughs> awesome, I guess you are too, that's great. So I'll introduce myself to you again. My name is Miss Tara, so I work here at the library and I do all the youth services programs. So um, I'll probably see more of you guys at some point. But in your kit today, what you should have received are a couple things. First off, you should have received a rock. So hopefully you have that rock, <laughs> right? Very good. All right, next thing would be some paint. So there's these primary color paints. Very good. Awesome. How about a paintbrush? Awesome. Cool. I like the color of yours. That's more of a pink. I have more of a purple one. <laughs> um, then you should have also gotten some Google eyes. Did you get? Oh, very good. So you have got mine here too. All right, and then what I have on hand here, which um, it's up to you if you want to use them, I grabbed myself a paper towel in case I have any spills. Right now I'm near a computer. Very good, and so are you guys, so that's always a smart thing to have on hand. I also have uh, some school glue, but if you don't have glue, that's A-OK. -okay. And then I also have a little um, juice container so I could put some water in it in case you wanted to change your colors up. So if you need to do that as well, since it's us, um, you're more than welcome to take a pause and go get that. Or if you have that already, that's fine too. So the cool thing about this program is we have some options. So you could either choose to just paint your rock with any different kind of design or phrase that you want to, or you could decide to paint it any way that you'd like to and make it a pet rock. And I think that's what I'm gonna end up doing because I think that's pretty cool. And I love the little Google eyes and that's kind of fun. So that's what we can do together, right? So what the first thing I would do is, oh, and I've also got, I don't know if this is helpful to you as well, but I've got a little container. Just in case you wanted to mix paint colors, you could, but you don't have to have one of these. All right, so. What we're gonna do here is first, you wanna look at your paint colors and you wanna decide what paint color you wanna use first. So I would say if you wanna make a bunch of designs, um, you may wanna pick what your background color is on your rock first. And also think about too, that you might wanna have some dry time in between. So if you don't mind the different colors kind of swirling together, um, then you don't have to wait as long in between. Um, but if you want them to be more finite and like this part is white, this part is red and no mixing, you might need to take a little bit of time in between. So let's see. I think I want my rock, my pet rock to be blue because blue is my favorite color. So I'm gonna go ahead and slowly open these containers. Now I will say when you open them up, you have to be just a little careful because otherwise they could splatter on you. So let's go ahead and do this, aha. Okay, so you go ahead and open that up, just like that. Hopefully yours was as easy to open up as mine was. <laughs> okay, and then the next thing you wanna do is you wanna go ahead and take your rock and decide where on your rock you wanna paint what colors. So you think to yourself, do you want to paint the entire rock one color or do you wanna be cool and have three colors on your rock before you do anything else? There's a lot of options here because this is all about your creativity and what exactly you want your rock design or your pet rock to look like. I think I kinda of want him to be mostly blue. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and do that. So let me just turn the camera down a little bit here so you can see. Okay. All right, so I'll hold this up here so you can see what I'm doing. So I'm gonna go ahead and dip my paintbrush into the blue paint. Oh, it looks like you're using some yellow. Awesome. Now, do you think you wanna paint your whole rock one color or are you gonna paint it different colors? Feel free to turn on, yeah, if you wanna turn your audio on, that's fine. Yeah, I might color it different colors. That would be awesome. Just even painting is so much fun, right? <laughs> yeah. I know, I love it too. 
Okay, so you can see I got mine started here and it's covering pretty well, which is nice. And it's okay if we have moments that are kind of quiet too. That's kind of nice when you're doing art, right? Yeah. Right, it's relaxing. And sometimes art takes a little bit of thought too. Mm -hmm. Now, a funny thing that you could do if you're deciding to make a pet rock is while you're painting, you could think, what will I name him or her? Or it. It can oh, be yeah. an it, too. Right? Hmm. That's a good question. It's, it's like naming a regular pet. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, I have two kitty cats at home, and their names are Freckles and Buttercup. So that took us a little bit of time to come up with, but they're calico cats and they have three colors on them. So that's why we named them that. So I don't know what I'll yeah. name my rock yet, but I'll come up with something. Right now it looks like a big eyeball. Yeah. <laughs> we have a dog named Lainey. Aw, very cool. Dogs are awesome. Yeah. I like them a lot too. I like all animals. Same. <laughs> all right. So one thing that you can do is while you're painting, if you don't want to get any paint on your fingers, I know that's hard to do when you're painting, but you could always paint just the top parts and kind of let that dry. And you could always paint the sides later. Or if you're a super artist, like, like I like to pretend I am, um, you can just paint the whole thing and not worry about if your fingers get messy because one of the best things of art is that you can get messy and just wash your hands later, right? Yeah. <laughs> That's kind of the more fun thing to do. So I think I'll do that. But you know what? One tip is I wouldn't paint the bottom of your rock because there's got to be one part of the rock that's dry so it can um, sit somewhere and it can allow the rest of the rock to dry. So like I'll probably paint to like here and then I'll stop so that that way it has a dry part. Oh, uh, yeah. What? Oh, my sister's doing it too. Oh, awesome. That's great. Hi, how are you? Hi, good. How are you? <laughs> good, good. I'm so glad. I was hoping that it was a couple of you guys. <laughs> and the cool thing is, is uh, I don't know if you guys know, but we normally, before everything with COVID, we would do um, all different programs all throughout the month, every month. But now most of our things are virtual and we're doing pickup kits for most of them. So if you guys end up like this program, you can always um, pay attention on our Facebook page to see when you can do pickups of other things. Um, and then it's the same like today. <laughs> this is our first time doing it. Oh, I love that though. I appreciate that so much. We just want to reach the community, especially in this time too. So, our My hands already got dirty. Oh, that's okay. Actually, I think mine did too. <laughs> yep, see? There's only one little spot right now, but up. Oh. <laughs> I found it all black on it. <laughs> that's okay. Like I said, that's the best thing about art sometimes. I got to remember to hold the rock up so you can see it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all right. So just to show you guys where I'm at, I've got a little bit more to go, but I've got more of the rock painted. So what are you making? You know what? I am, I know I'm making a pet rock, but I think I'm making an underwater pet rock. I think I'm going to pretend that my pet <laughs> rock grew up in the ocean and I found him at the beach and he didn't have a home, so I took him home with me. That That's going to be my pet rock. But maybe I'll name him like Shelly or like an ocean name. Um, hmm. What's some other good ocean names I could name my pet rock? Do you have any guesses? Mm, I don't know. Well, we used to have a dog named Shelly, but then she got cancer. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Thing. That's tough. That happened to one of my kitty cats, too. So I can, and yeah, it's tough. 
But see how cool is that that I thought of the same name, right? <laughs> hmm. I could name it Barnacle. <laughs> That'd be <laughs> That'd be a silly name for my pet rock, but that would be funny. <laughs> Maybe I'll stick with that one. Yeah. All right, so let's see. So I'm going to go ahead and dip my brush into my water because I think I might change colors. <laughs> let's see. And I'll set my rock down here for a second. Like I said, if you keep um, just the edge, unpainted then when you go to set it down your fingers don't have to get completely messy unless you want them to then that's okay too and oh see just like mine did i just got more paint <laughs> <laughs> and let's see i rinsed out my brush so now it's like a light blue water which is kind of cool hmm. i got um i'm making a bee Ooh, for my pet rock i love that i yeah, love the stripe side do you yeah. Now, do you have a name for your bee pet rock? Um, I don't know. You haven't decided yet, right? No. You could call. You could call him Buzz. Oh yeah. <laughs> or, okay. hmm. You could even just call him the letter B, like a pun. You know. But yeah. I'm a big fan of puns too. Let's see. All right. I think. I think I'm going to use yellow next because of the whole ocean theme. Yeah. Let's see. And hopefully I don't get too much green, but that's also in the ocean too. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Let's see. Oh. Hmm. You, might, you should make a turtle or something like that. Oh. See, how cool would it be, like, if you had a couple rocks, and, like, this could be the shell, and then you could have another yeah. one for the head, and then for, like, the flip, like the little flippers? Oh, yeah, that would be cool. That would be really cool, like, especially if you put it out in your garden. Yeah. That'd be fun. That's a good idea. Thank you. You know what? I didn't ask your name. I told you guys my name. What's, what's your first name? Oh, my name is Molly, and I'm Lauren. Hi, Molly and Lauren. It's great to meet you guys. All right, let's see. So now I've put some yellow on here. It's a little dark. It's a little, not as super bright as I thought it would be, but it's not bad, though. Yeah, it's not bad. If you just keep, if you just dab it a little bit and put, like, big spots, that makes it stand, the color stand out more. I love that idea. Thank you. And like I said, it's A-OK -okay if we have quiet moments, too, because I fully believe when you're trying to craft or make art, that needs to happen. But I'm right yeah. here with you guys, so. Mm-hmm. <laughs> My sister's like an artist, too. No kidding. That's awesome. I love art so much, so I think that's really cool that you do, too. I have some cool drawings that I'm... I have. That's very cool. Sorry, my mom's just baking. She's making a lot of noise. Oh, that's okay. I can definitely hear you guys. That's fine. And you're at home too here. Like, we have noise here as well, but I don't know if you can hear it so much because I have my mic on. But we yeah. have a lot going on here too. <laughs> so that's okay. What? Do you want another one? Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to have this one. My sister doing another one. Oh, that's awesome. Oh. Here, do you mind holding this up? The one that she just did. Oh my, you just did that? That's amazing. Thank you. You're welcome. That's so cool. I love all the dots and how they line up. That's super pretty. All right, let's see. So for my rock, you can see my hands are getting more and more covered with paint. I yeah. think... I'm going to lay off the yellow here for a second. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> Talking to my sister. I'm oh, that, oh, that's okay. No worries. You know what? I think I forgot to mention, too. You guys probably have some yarn in your, in your kit also, don't you? Yeah, we do. Yeah. Okay, good. 
because I think that's what I'm going to end up using for hair then. Yeah, I might use it for like wings, but I oh. didn't get blue. That would be so cool. My sister makes bracelets, so she might have some. Aw, that would be awesome. We actually just did a, a team program the other day. We were making friendship bracelets. We still have a couple kits at the library. If you guys um, ever want to pick up a kit, we'll have them for the next couple days. Um, even though the program's over, you're more than welcome to have them if you'd like. Oh, now there's, what, three stripes on there? Um, there's um, three stripes of yellow and three stripes of black. I love that. That's turning out to be a super cool bee. Yeah, I'm going to put it to the side. Awesome. Oh, see? We're both getting covered in paint. <laughs> yeah. See, that's the best thing, though. That's when you look like an artist, when you have the paint. Mm -hmm. All right. I so. saw oh, drawings that I have. That's awesome. Do you like to draw? Mm, I know. <laughs> what? You like to draw? Yeah. Very cool. I do too. We do that at the library sometimes too, certain programs. We have um, like anime club. So, you know, sometimes people there will draw. Um, we try to do crafts like every month and anything crafty we like. So that's really cool. <laughs> All right, let's see. So my rock is starting to dry pretty well. Is, is yours starting to dry still or does it still look super wet? It still looks super wet. I just got down with it. That's true. This one, well, the one thing that you probably already know, but just in case you don't, one good thing is if you know that you want your rock to dry fast, you try to do thinner layers. But then if you yeah. want the colors to super pop, then you can do them <laughs> thicker, like your bee. I think your bee deserves yeah. popping colors, so that makes total sense. Um, I think we'll give it maybe a couple minutes here, and then, um, and then I'll start trying to figure out the hair here. But maybe I'll start cutting it. But you guys are more than welcome to continue painting. But let's see. So I have this at the library here. And a fun way to like make hair, even if you're not doing it for this pet rock, if you're doing it for something else, is let me just move this around here. You can go ahead and take the end, right? Mm -hmm. Wrap it around your hand very loosely several times like this. Yeah. You can go ahead and then take your scissors which I have these ones here. And you can cut it all at once like that and then cut the ends. And then you get strings for hair, just like that. Oh yeah, that's cool. Isn't that cool? And then if you wanted it to be shorter, you could cut it in half if you wanted. Then you would have yeah. a bunch of short hair. But I kind of <laughs> want, I want my, um, my pet rock to have longer hair because it kind of looks like seaweed. Yeah. <laughs> See, even if I hold it up here, it kind of looks like my hair, right? Yeah. <laughs> so I'm going to cut more of that just so I have a bunch. My sister read me. Wait, are you doing the same thing that she's doing? Are you doing well? Oh. That's she's okay. doing something. <laughs> No, that's okay. That's fine. That's why with this program, we want you to be super creative and, and do what feels best. So whatever you want to do with the string, you do. I'm just <laughs> going to make more hair. <laughs> You're letting your bee dry? Yeah. Dry. I'm just... Let's see. There's some other creativity things right here. Mm-hmm. Yeah, if you want. So we gave you those um, instruction sheets so that if you ever wanted to do this again, but you couldn't remember the order, that's why that's there for you. Or for the people that couldn't make the program, then yeah. they, they know kind of what to do too. We almost couldn't make it because we were trying it on a different um, I, electronic and then we couldn't make it then. I got this one and then it worked. Oh, well, I'm so glad that that worked. I know sometimes it can be a little difficult. Like I can use Zoom on my phone, but I much prefer to use it on the laptop. So, yeah. hi, how are you? Oh, you do? That's awesome. He was there at first. <laughs> that was awesome. See, small world, right? All the library brings all the people together. So. <laughs> all right. So oh, let's cool. see. That was cool. I was like really happy over that. I'm glad that she could see you. <laughs> she might be right next to me soon. Aw. Right 
and that'll be night. that'll be awesome i love getting friends together that's great <laughs> yeah all right so let's see so my rock is it's still a little wet but it's it's getting there I think I feel comfortable enough to glue some eyes on it soon, though, here. I might give it, like, two more minutes. I just tested my rock and look what happened. <laughs> it's still too wet. <laughs> yeah. You can try, it like, moving your hand like a fan over it, if you like. That might help. Or getting, blowing on it. Or blowing on it, too. Yeah, that would definitely work. Or put a fan on or something if you're in a room with a fan. Oh, yeah, can you go put it out in the sun? Sure. Oh, there you go. I'm going to go put it out in the sun. See, that's an awesome mom thinking good things, right? Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's really nice out today. Yeah, it's gorgeous. I can't wait to see it later. It looks like it's super sunny. I love the yeah, fall, too. Okay. Wait. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> my dog. My dog is, like, coming up on my bench right here. Aww. And she, like, when my mom is on Zoom. She just looks at the camera. Aww. She's a golden retriever. Aw, he's beautiful. Very cute. All right, let's see. <laughs> so it's it's pretty close to look at the difference between I don't know if you can tell. See the back here? And to the front. Which I do. It's still kind of warm. Put me glue his eyes off. Yeah. Is it dry oh, enough for that, you think, yet? Because I think mine might be ready for that. I can just make, like, a little monster or something on here. You could, and maybe you could make, like, a really cool mouth, too. Like, like a jagged yeah. mouth or, like, a Halloween mm -hmm. pet rock. And then maybe you could put it on your porch, and then people could see it. Yeah. Or on your windowsill. <laughs> so let's do that together. So I have my rock. I'm going to go ahead, and I'm going to... Open up my glue like that. Had to make sure my glue was working. I hate sometimes when the glue it stops stops working sometimes. <laughs> yeah. Right? Yeah. So you have to see. open it sometimes. You do. That's what I just had to do. I thought it was a little too dry, but it was a-okay. Yeah. All right. So let's see. So I think I'm gonna make this the front of my pet rock. So yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and glue on here. One dot. <laughs> yeah. And let's see. Let's try here. Two. Now, I would say if you're going to put your eyes on, it looks like the rock you have is a lot smoother than the one I have. So you might have a better chance at putting the eyes on. But we'll see um, how this goes. Mom, can you please um get me my Sharpies? I want to draw them out with Sharpies. Sure. There's one. <laughs> see ya. I'm getting Sharpies for mine. Good. That'll be great, and that'll be an easier line for you to make rather than with the paintbrush. Yeah. Oh, look at this. <laughs> Isn't it cute? <laughs> okay, so I'm going to let him sit for just a second with his eyes so that kind of starts to set up and dry. <laughs> None of these Sharpies are good. They're like, no, like, sharp tips. Oh. Oh, perfect. Finally. There you go. <laughs> All right. I think I might cut this hair a little bit. Because if I go to put it on the rock now, it's going to be super long hair. <laughs> so I'll cut it in half. Just with the tiny mouth. Oh my gosh, that's so awesome. <laughs> and then I'm going to do something. Let's see. Go ahead and put some glue up here to put the hair on. Let's see, so here he is so far. <laughs> and then, <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> I think this green worked out perfectly with this blue, too. Yeah. <laughs> 
And it'd actually be really cool if you found it at the beach. I it would. I'd be so excited if I found this at the beach. Yeah. I think I'll still call him Barnacle too. I think that's definitely my favorite name. <laughs> Let's see, I think he needs a little bit more glue. How are you guys faring, good? Yeah. Good. Oops. Now he's got uh, lots of hair. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's funny that you mentioned a turtle earlier because it kind of looks like a turtle. <laughs> yeah. A little bit. Ooh. Oh, no, I lost some of his hair. Oh no. <laughs> I gotta put more glue on. Oh, got glue on me. <laughs> it's a gluey mess. <laughs> <laughs> it can be. That's okay. The good thing about that is it dries and then you can just wash your hands. <laughs> Ta da! <laughs> <laughs> See, now the really cool thing is, is we didn't have any of it in our kit, but if you had glitter at home, that you could mix that with like Mod Podge or with, uh, with glue, and you mm -hmm. could make them really sparkly. Or if you had rhinestones or sequins at home, you could do that also. Yeah. Oh, there she is. <laughs> Come on, Izzy. Hi, Izzy. Hi. Oh, I like your hair. Thank you. I got it pink. I love it. Hi, Izzy. We just saw you. <laughs> nice to see you again. So, look. Look at, uh, this is my pet rock that I made. <laughs> His name is Barnacle, and I used some blue paint, and he's got some green hair with some yarn and some googly eyes. So when you open your kit, you should have a rock, um, two googly eyes, some paint, a paintbrush, and some um, string for hair. Yeah. <laughs> <And> then, <laughs> <laughs> oh, we always say she sounds like a piggy because we always said. <laughs> These are drying pretty good too. Do you think, um, Molly, do you think yours is starting to dry up? Your bumblebee? Yeah. Good. It's still out there. It might take a few more minutes. did you have? Well, we have a couple extra from when I was up in the mountains. Oh, so see, that's... I brought some home, so now that you've got some supplies, you can do more with them. There, just let that dry like that. Okay. Is that good? Yeah. And if you want to cut her hair, you, there's scissors right here. Okay. Ellie, yeah. how was your trip to the, um, to the, okay. oh, where's the water? Is it dry? Right there. That's, yeah. Oh, it's that's not dry it. yet, Mom. I know, but you can put the eyeballs right there, in there. No, no, that's not dry yet. Oh, you want to wait till it's dry? Yeah. Okay. No, Molly, that's super cool. I really like that a lot. I like, I like your expression. I think you should. I think that would be really cool. Like, this is kind of Halloween-ish. It definitely I, is. I'm totally not. That's okay. And, and, see, and the cool thing is if um if you use two different colored yarns, it's almost like your hair is he with the with the pink dye. Yeah. Right? It's the same kind of thing. I only had the one color on me right now. But that's super cool. Um I I think um wait, are you the person who had the bearded dragon program? Bearded dragon. Yes. Yep. I have, I have one too. No kidding. That's awesome. That's super cool. It's funny that you remember that. That was a couple months ago now. That's really neat. 
Oop, look, the eyes are finally starting to dry. I was going to paint this hair. Is that bad? <laughs> If you want, Oops, careful. you're you creative. Your you dropped your hair. For Izzy's, it was easier for me to put the glue on first mm -hmm. and then lay it over top. But here we go. It works. Mine's going to be a little long. That's okay. Really long. <laughs> That's no problem. I'm going to cut some of mine off. It took like two hours for her to do my hair. Oh, I bet. It looks really nice, though. Thank you. You're welcome. No problem. I used to have blue and purple in my hair a couple years ago. I really liked that, too. That for was fun. I, for a second, I thought you used to have blonde hair. You know what I did? I actually did. You remembered correctly. Yeah, that was, goodness, probably at least a year ago, I think. But I did have blonde hair for a while. Never had green hair, though. <laughs> like barnacle here. I'm holding them up here so he can watch everything too. <laughs> See, and the cool thing is, oh, go ahead. I, I'm sorry. I I'm not adding really any extra, um, like rope that much because I have a lot of it on right now. That's See? okay. Oh my gosh, that is so cool. I love I just, that. I, yeah, I just painted the hair. I love that you paint. Wait, can I see that one more time? Oh, yeah. I love that you painted the hair. That's such a good idea. Can you see my final reveal? Yes, I do. <laughs> oh my gosh, she is so cool. Oh, I love that. You did such a great job, Molly. Good job. How long have you been on here, Molly? How long have I been on here, Mom? We started at um, 4.30. Yep. So we got about five minutes-ish left. So it went pretty quick, right? Yeah. <laughs> An hour goes pretty quick. <laughs> you help? Yeah. What are you trying to do? I'm trying to get this blue piece. You want just you need to cut this piece? So you have a piece yeah. of hair? Yeah. Okay. Can I burn these? Can, can I just, like, have a little longer, though? I love her. I love her, too. I love her expression, and her hair is super neat. <laughs> I love it. Do you like it? I love it, yeah. It almost looks like she's wearing a hat, too. Yeah. Like that green part, it looks It looks mm -hmm. almost like a beret. Like she's, a, like, a French person. Like two, um, like two colors? Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> so you could even do like you know if you wanted like a puppet show almost with these like pretend that this part is like the stage you could have them walk so um she even has lipstick on does she oh i can see it now oh my gosh she's a fashionable lady <laughs> very cool mine is kind of bald that's okay <laughs> Makes it special. Yeah, it can be anything you want it to be. <laughs> How many are we allowed to make? You guys can keep making more. I have more rocks. You guys are liking it. Just keep going. <laughs> I like talking to you. <laughs> Aww. I like talking to you guys, too. I really appreciate you guys coming to the program. It means a lot to us. Make sure you show yours to her before she has to go, Izzy, okay? okay. She's doing a really good job. Oh, I just wanted to show you the rest of my bee. Sure. Yeah. That would be great. Do you want me to get it, Mom? Yeah. Okay, good job, Molly. And you guys are doing a great job together, too. I even made a little chin for mine. Did you? At the bottom. Oh, my God. Aw. <laughs> She's so saying? cute. Aw. <laughs> I just added some more details to my um, rock. I added earrings. Ooh, I love those. And then I added little rosy cheeks. Aw, see, that's awesome. That means that she likes to smile a lot, right? Yeah. <laughs> Very cool. 
Okay. I love both of what you guys did. That was wonderful. Well, I'm going to polka dots on the head. I'm going to go. I don't know where. But, Mom, where's the, what can I put for the wings? Um, it's okay. You don't really need wings. We can, yeah, we'll try to figure something out. We can make it. But just, you want to show her that. I might sure. add some more details. Yeah, we can. Just the black is dry. The yellow is still dry. I'm just being creative. Which one's... No, I love that though. That's what we want. That's th what the whole Most point is. Like, I'm just being wild with this my one's stuff. Already, this one's Good. Wanna decorate it? Sure. That's definitely a thumbs up day, a hundred percent. So here's my reveal. Oh. I might not just be a bee. I might just be a little frog. A oh. uh, new animal. That would be cool too. You know what it kind of reminds me of also, Molly, is what? um those little um fuzzy caterpillars that you see outside. That kind oh, yeah. of like this. That I, could be I what it is them. too. Mm -hmm. I, I hate them. I love see you. them. <laughs> oh, I love that. I love her it's face like, and, okay. and her hair. And there's like a little hair up there. Oh, that's so cool. Even the chin. I love the chin too. You can put it right here. You can, you can, you can dry. You guys did such a good job. This can be a little and a fat, but kind of It right could right be. Yeah, honey, go ahead. You know where they are. And remember, the biggest thing is, too, is that you want to come up with names for them also. So that's the most yeah. fun part. This might be Buzz, like you made up. Sure. And this one might be... I already have a doll named Rosie. Aww. That yeah, would be a really good name. I like that name a lot. Um, I think I might name her after my s snail I used to have. Aww. Was Lady. Aww. <laughs> no, Lady just ran out. And Aww. <laughs> oh. Aww. She usually runs away, but we don't have a fence in the yard, but... This is yeah. mine that I'm just going to draw. This one's Buzz, and this one might be a, 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 a Matilda. Matilda. Oh, oh, like Ronald Dahl's book, Matilda. Yeah, like the movie. Yeah. Very cool. I love the movie, too. <laughs> I don't even know that. Oh, it's, it's a great funny. movie. <laughs> that's, well, that's a wonderful thing to think of. I love that. Well, you guys... French French looks like a hat. Mm -hmm. It does. I swear. I think it looks like a beret. Yeah. She's got the earrings and everything. So, All right, friends. Well, listen, I, I hate to always leave you guys. I love spending time and doing these programs, but I had a great time with you guys. I hope that you did too, and it was wonderful to see you. Yeah. Hi, thank you. Thank You're you. welcome. I hope thank to see you, so you guys too. Yeah, no problem. Hope to see you guys Bye. in the program soon. Bye. Bye. See you later, alligators. Bye. Wild <laughs> crocodile.